Greetings to you all, my dear brothers and sisters. What a wonderful thing it is to come into God's presence this very day when we call uh, the day after Easter. But for some of you in some parts of the world, it is Easter Sunday. And so we wish you all a very happy Easter. What a wonderful day, the resurrection day when our Lord Jesus rose from the dead. You know, death could not hold him. You know, he overcome the very thing that we think is the ultimate in a man's life, which is death, the end of everything. But then it is not the end of everything because we saw that God raised Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit from death and he made him alive again, resurrected him to live in our midst, resurrected him to give testimony of the greatness of God and the power of the Holy Spirit, resurrected him in order to fulfill the plan for which he was sent. He was crucified, yes, but he also came to life again. And now he is seated at the right hand throne of God. What a wonderful thing. Shall we all say hallelujah to this? Oh yes, and we know that Jesus is coming again in all his power and glory. No longer will he come as a small child. Innocuous, nobody knows, but he would come. He would come in power and glory from the heavens. Maranatha, come soon, Jesus. Come soon. What a wonderful thing this is. You know, the account of the resurrection is given in all the three, all the Gospels, actually. And then when we look at the book of Matthew and we read, um, we read Matthew chapter 28, I would just like you to pay a few minutes looking at this. Matthew chapter 28, it says, Now after the Sabbath, as the first day of the week began, Mary and Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. And then it goes on to say that there was a great earthquake. There was a great earthquake. You know why? Because the angel of the Lord descended from on high, from the sky. And he, what he did was, he rolled back that huge stone that huge stone which was many kilograms in weight that not even one person could not have handled that stone it would have taken at least about six people to move that stone yet the angel of the lord came and he moved that stone away and you know it goes on to say that his countenance was was like lightning and his clothing was as white as snow. And the guards who were supposed to be, uh, you know, guarding the, the tomb, the, the door of the tomb, which was the stone, they saw him and they fell to the ground. And because of fear, and they became like dead men. And they could not stop him. They were put there to stop him, but they could not stop him. And here we know the rest. We know the rest. We know that Jesus walked out of that tomb. You know, my dear friends, Jesus did not require for the stone to be rolled away for him to walk out of the tomb. Do you remember the time when he came to the upper room? He just entered into the upper room. He was God. But he had these angels open the door of the tomb in order to prove that you know he was God and God sent his messengers from above to do his work and we went and you know the thing is that we want to go on and look at Mark chapter 16 and in Mark chapter 16 it says that Mary Magdalene and the other Mary they early in the morning they had prepared spices to anoint the body of Jesus and they had many kilos of spices. They carried that and they ran towards the tomb. And as they were running towards the tomb, there was this one issue that kept coming up in their mind. Who will roll the stone away? How will we 
go in and anoint the body of Jesus when we could when we actually cannot even budge the stone an inch who will roll that stone away this was really a problem that they faced a real a real issue in their hearts and today i want to tell you my dear brothers and sisters we also have issues in our hearts we are moving towards a goal it seems like it's a good thing that we're doing and it seems like this is going to give god glory but you know we are not we do not know how we're going to do this we do not know who is going to help us because we know that in our own strength we cannot do this and i would encourage you my dear brothers and sisters trust in the lord trust in the lord to roll the stone trust in jesus to roll the stone he will roll the stone for you he will roll the stone away for you he will make the impossible to become possible in your life he will make the unreachable within your reach my dear brothers and sisters god is a god of love he is watching over you and even if it takes that he had to send an angel from heaven in a huge earthquake to roll your stone away he will do it because he has promised i will never leave you i will never forsake you and the resurrection lord the lord of the resurrection is here with us he is here with us because he said i'm going to be with you always how would he be with us always if he was in that tomb that would not be possible but when jesus said i'm going to be with you always he meant it he has conquered death itself he has broken the fetters that bind mankind and he has set us free dear brothers and sisters today on easter sunday enjoy the freedom that god has given you as it says as paul says in christ you are free indeed Surely we are free because God has set us free. Amen and amen. Hallelujah Jesus.